What if I told you there's a pair of sunglasses that can actually see for you? Today, we're diving into a piece of wearable tech that's doing something incredible. It's literally opening up the world for people with vision loss. Okay, so take a look at these. They look just like a stylish pair of Ray-Bans, right? But what's hiding inside this classic frame is a total powerhouse for low vision. It's the perfect time to really dig into how this tech is making a massive difference in people's lives. So to really get why this is such a big deal, we gotta start with the why. What are the actual challenges that people with vision loss face every single day? Let's get into it. All right, so we're talking about something called low vision. And what exactly is that? Well, think about it like this. If you have blurry vision, regular glasses can usually sharpen that image right up. But with low vision, it's more like parts of the picture are just gone. It's a whole range of vision issues that makes those little everyday things, stuff most of us don't even think twice about, really, really tough. And we're not talking about a small group of people here. We're talking about millions. In fact, get this, the World Health Organization says over 2.2 billion people have some kind of vision impairment. So for a huge number of folks, tech like this isn't just a cool gadget. It's an absolute lifeline. So the big question is, how in the world do you cram all of this life-changing tech into something as small as a pair of glasses? Well, let's look under the hood, so to speak, and see what makes these things tick. Okay, this is where it gets really cool. First up, you've got a high-quality 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera. That's basically the eyes of the whole operation, grabbing a huge view of everything in front of you. Then there are these open-ear speakers. They're designed to whisper info right to you without, and this is key, blocking out the sounds of the world around you. And of course, the built-in AI, well, that's the brain that makes it all work together. And let's talk more about that AI, because honestly, it's the heart of the whole system. You know, if the frame and the camera are the body, then the AI is what gives it a soul. It's what turns these glasses from just a piece of tech into a real partner for getting around. And you control the whole thing just by talking. The whole thing is designed to feel supernatural, like you're just talking to a friend. You just say, hey, Meta, and then ask it what you need. You can ask it to describe what's around you, get a quick snapshot of a room, read a sign for you. It can even translate languages instantly. It's pretty amazing. And what's really smart is the level of detail you can ask for. So for example, let's say you're in a busy park. You can say, hey Meta, look and tell me everything you see. And it'll give you a quick rundown. You know, there's a fountain to your left, people playing frisbee ahead. But if you wanna know more about say, a specific statue, you can ask for a detailed description and it'll zoom in on just that, giving you all the specifics. Hey, Meta, look and read this. That simple phrase is one of the most powerful features here. It literally turns the world into your personal audiobook. It can read you a restaurant menu, your mail, street signs. Just think about that for a second. Imagine being able to have your own birthday cards read to you in private for the very first time. That's a game changer. But look, AI is amazing, but it can't do everything, right? Sometimes you just need a real person. And this is where the story gets even better because we need to talk about the human touch. So back in September 2024, Ray-Ban Meta teamed up with an incredible app called Be My Eyes. What it does is connect someone with low vision to a sighted volunteer through a live video call. So picture this. You're trying to figure out the settings on your thermostat, but you can't make out the tiny buttons. You just ask the glasses to call Be My Eyes, and boom, you're connected to a real person who can see through your glasses camera and talk you through it. And the best part? It's all completely hands-free. Because at the end of the day, this isn't really about the tech specs or the software updates, is it? The real story here is the impact it has on people's lives. It's about so much more than just seeing. It's about independence. I mean, this is what it's all about. We're talking about being able to read your own mail without asking someone else to do it for you. Having the confidence to walk around a place you've never been before. Or just this simple, beautiful moment of the glasses telling you that someone you love is smiling at you from across the room. It's about getting back to the things you're passionate about and just living your life. So really, that's the big takeaway. These AI tools, like the Ray-Ban Meta Glasses, they're so much more than just cool gadgets. They are, quite literally, gateways to independence. They're proving that with the right tools, vision impairment doesn't have to stop anyone from living a completely active and fulfilling life. And it really makes you wonder, right? Is this what the future of accessibility looks like? 
As AI gets woven more and more into our daily lives, are we heading into a time where technology doesn't just help us out, but actually empowers us to move past physical limitations? It sure feels like the future of accessibility is already here, and it is looking brighter than ever. Today, I want to talk about a very exciting area in the low vision space, and that is the Ray-Ban Meta glasses. Now, these glasses are a phenomenal option for patients who are struggling with low vision. I'm going to wear them over here, and you'll be able to see that there is a camera that is on either side of the lens. Now, this connects to your phone, and it will be, have the ability for me to give a verbal instruction, and it will read me what I see. So in this example, I would say, hey Meta, look, tell me what I see. While this is going on, through the, through the uh, arms on the side, Meta is using artificial intelligence and the camera to be able to take a picture of the room and then use AI to tell me what I'm seeing. So this is a really good option for some of the low vision patients who are struggling to see. Now this works really well with the app called Be My Eyes. So in this scenario, we can see that it is pointed against the wall. So what I'm going to do is take a picture of this chart and let's see what happens. It's taking a picture and it's hopefully going to read me what it says. Plastic vision testing tool. A hand is holding a white and gray plastic device against a light gray wall. The device has an eye chart in the center with letters decreasing. Which is phenomenal. So let's just do one more. I'm going to take a picture of me wearing it and then we're going to see what happens. So I'm taking a picture of me with the phone. Okay, so let's see what happens. I take a picture of me. A man in professional attire, wearing a blue suit jacket, white dress shirt, and an orange, blue, and <laughs> white striped tie. He has short dark hair, is wearing large black framed glasses, and has a small black device clipped to his jacket with the DJI logo wow. on it. He is standing against a plane. Light color That's pretty amazing, because I literally camera. just took a picture of myself using the app, and it was able to use artificial intelligence to take the picture, to scan it, tell me exactly what I'm seeing, and then uh, read that out. So let me give an example of how a patient who has low vision would be able to do this. Now they have the option for the phone to read it out, or it goes directly into the Ray-Ban Metas, and the audio in the Ray-Ban Metas would read out what they see. So this is a phenomenal option for some of my low vision patients because the cost of this technology is just the cost of a normal pair of glasses. Um, the actual app Be My Eyes is free. There is no charge for the cost for Be My Eyes app. And so the camera on the side takes the picture and then the AI is at no charge and it will read me, it will read what um, they are seeing through the lens. So again, I hope you found this video educational because it's a great tool for some of my low vision patients. Thank you. My name is Dr. Sal Jivraj and I am a low vision and a neurooptometrist based in Calgary, Alberta. I'm excited to talk to you today about low vision and some options we have for patients who would like to see better for distance, intermediate and at reading. At our practice, we have a lot of the advanced low vision options, such as bioptics for distance and reading. We have the side awareness glasses. We also have the e-scoop glasses, which can be very beneficial for patients who are looking to drive. So I'd be happy to see you at our locations in Calgary. Again, I'm Dr. Sal Jivraj, a low vision and a neuro optometrist. And I look forward to um, hearing from you if you would like to get help with your low vision. Thank you and have a good day.